The first thing I'm going to do is put this microphone in the holder because, as I told you once before, it's a severe handicap for an Italian to be speaking without his hands. So I would like to uh, just make a brief announcement or two before I get started. And this is important. Uh, tomorrow in Middleborough, now mind you, I don't know where I'm supposed to be the next day or the day after that, so I would appreciate it if you would just check with our table. But tomorrow in Middleborough, I believe it's at 1 o'clock, if you would like to get there earlier to round the table, there's going to be a candidate forum for the uh, Ninth Congressional District Congressional Candidates. And I've been told that one of my opponents is actually loading up a bus to attend because there's going to be a straw poll afterwards. So I want you to keep that in mind. And uh, if you're so inclined, show up tomorrow in Middleborough, come and hear the debate, and uh, put your conclusion in the ballot box the way you see fit. Now, another brief announcement. This Thursday, I went to the Secretary of the Commonwealth's office and I deposited at the window 3,500 signatures to put me on the ballot September 9th and November 4th. I want to thank the team, and I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Agatha, although there were many others that were involved with it, the team that put up an enormous, awesome effort. We turned in over 4,500 raw signatures those are the endorsements that I want and appreciate and value the most. So thank you to every one of you who signed or to help us. <laughs> I've spoken before parts of this group before, uh, but I don't think I've had the chance yet to tell most of you a little bit about my roots and my background. And I want to take a couple of minutes to do that now because it really is very uh, deeply intertwined with why I'm coming to this office, with why I'm compelled. Because folks, I have to tell you, at the beginning of all this, trust me, I have no ambition to go to that snake pit in Washington, D.C. <laughs> so, uh, it starts with family. It starts with my wife of 32 years, Mary Ann. Together we make a home in Falmouth. We have two daughters, one in the Navy, who is, I'll just leave it at somewhere in the Middle East right now.